this to this. Welcome back to African Air Ordnance. Today we're going to be installing the Gen 2 upgrade kit for the Vulcan 3 from African Air Ordnance. Uh, made a couple of changes. One of the awesome things we've got is we've got the Biathon cocking handle. We've also redesigned the hammer spring and we've also included a regulator removal tool. We've also got all the O-rings. This is your bottle O-ring. You've also got your O-ring for your plenum, all those for the plenum. Next, we have our regulator anti-creep plate. We then have our deep hanger to get rid of that annoying twang every time you fire the gun. Also, we have our, a bottle adapter so that we're going to be putting a nice 700cc bottle on this rifle. And no, the bottle does not come with <laughs> the kit. We then also have our magazine adaption uh, kit. This allows for the uh, Patriot 40 grain uh, Gen 1s and the Zane uh, 40 grain uh, slugs to be able to fit in the mag without having to single shot load them. And then we also have our regulator removal tool. It just makes uh, getting that rig out there just a bit easier. All right, next we're going to install the kit. First thing we're going to do is we're going to place the rifle like that. We are going to Remove the stock. We're just going to replace that. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to unscrew the bottle. Just so you guys know, the rifle has been degassed. I degassed it overnight. Right. With the bottle removed, next we're going to do is we're going to remove the plenum to. Okay, there's two grub screws. Hold this in. Just unscrew them. That's one. And our second one right here. Be careful not to unlink this. It is a bit difficult to get back on. So rather try not to avoid that. And simply we are just gonna pull the plenum tube out. We'll lay the rest of the rifle there. Alright guys, so the next thing we want to do is we want to just unscrew this front block. Gonna place that there for now. So what we're gonna do is we want to take the regulator removal tool. We want to just get this like that. We want to screw it in okay. all the way. So it's became quite difficult to remove. What you want to do is, if you don't press your valve stem in, you're gonna create a bit of a vacuum. So this does, and that just pulls right out like that. So we're just going to leave that screwed in there for now. Next we're going to take a bit of our silicon oil and spray it in our tube. And also spray it on our regulator all over our rig. Never too much silicon. Next you want to take our anti-creep plate and just put it in your finger just like that, just gently. And we just want to slide it in and we just want to push it down into the tube. Okay. This is the this part can be quieter, we want to put the rig back. So because of the big threads here, it is a bit difficult to get back in. So just like that. Okay. Alright. Next we just want to unthread our regulator removal tool. Put it back there. And next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna spray a block. Lastly, we're going to put the block back in. Just like that. Okay. Next, we want to get our valve assembly out. So we're just going to take an Allen key, because this can be quite difficult. And we're just going to unwind it. So we take this off because we want to put our deep hanger in. Next, we're going to put the deep hanger in. We're going to put our O-ring on the dipping end. So we put our O-ring on. Next, we just want to give it a spray of silicon. Okay. We're going to push this in, just like that. Get it started. And then we're going to take the spacer that came with the rifle, and we're just going to insert the spacer, just like this. Okay. Um, and then we're going to take our valve assembly, and we're going to get that back in. Just get it started, and then... We just take an Allen key again and we're just going to tighten this until it basically comes to a stop. 
Like right there. I want to put a lot of force on it, and just like that. All right. So that's how you sort out the plenum with the depinger and the rig anti creep plate. Okay. So this can go back on the rifle now. So just going to put that back in. Just going to slide that in. Okay. Again, we want to make sure this is lined up correctly. Okay. And first we're going to start with, with the bigger grub screw in the back. This is very important. You must make sure that that's pushed all the way in. Tighten down and then again, should move this over here. It's a bit too small. Tighten it down. Then you want to give these a bit of a torque in here, but just literally it's just a little bit of a turn. All right. And so you gotta just push that out the way and then just torque it down a bit. All right, guys, so now that's how you sort the plenum assembly out. Next thing we want to do is we're going to obviously want to replace the hammer spring. So to do this, we're going to take, again, we just want to loosen this little grub screw right here, clear it. Okay, and then I'm just going to turn this. All right, now we've loosened that little grub screw. The next thing we want to do is we want to insert the other key. I would suggest inserting it all the way in. This is going to make getting the hammer spring out and you can just unscrew it just like that. And just push that back. Obviously you don't want to go all the way back. Just to get a hammer spring poking out. Okay, that's loose enough now. Okay, so there's our factory original hammer spring. So there's two ways with the new hammer spring, right? You can install just the black spring, and that is if you want to run your regulator, uh, you know, you don't want to run it super high. But if you're running your regulator really hard to get over 1,050 FPS, then we suggest you include the smaller spring, which also acts as a hammer uh, debouncer. Um, and, but you don't need to install that spring unless, only unless you want to really run very high velocities. So, which we like to do. So, the best way to do this is to take your retainer, slide your spring on, like that, and your other spring. And again, it's up to you how you set this up. So then what you want to do is you just want to press your hammer springs in. So they go over the back of the hammer and just tighten it down. This is the simplest way to do this. And then we're just going to turn this all the way in, just like that. Okay. And we just want the back of this retainer to be flush with the back of this receiver block. Okay, just like that. There's no need to screw it all the way in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just tighten this little grub screw down. All right, so that's the hammer spring and the depinger, and we've replaced the we put the anti creep plate in um, for the regulator. Next, we're going to replace this cocking handle, so we just want to. We'll put that there, and we are going to grab our. Um, Biathlon handle, just unscrew it. I found the best thing is to have this the threaded, the socket side of the little Allen key uh, on the bottom. And this you can lock tight down. Okay, just gonna give it a torque in there. Yeah. So that if you're not planning on taking off, it doesn't come loose. All right, next thing we're gonna put a big 700cc bottle on. I've already screwed in the adapter. Uh, just so you know, again, this bottle does not come with the, uh, the kit. You can get them from a host of aftermarkets or a host of retailers online. So we're just going to spray the bottle. Let's turn the rifle. 
Um, we already have our o-ring put in position right there. And now we just want to thread this on. All right, the next thing we want to do is we just want to put the stock back on. Okay, so we're going to place it off like this. Okay. Take out big Allen key wrench. Okay. And we're just going to give it a little half snug. Just like that. All right, guys. So there you see how we've installed the kit. Next part we're going to see is how to install the mag adapters. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is show you guys how to install the modification for the magazine. First, we're going to remove the original plastic plate. Okay. Next thing we've got to do is we've got to take these spacers and we've got to put one spacer by each of the, the holes. Okay. Sure, they're all nicely in place. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to install the plate. Push it down, just like that. And then what I like to do is I just like to take a to make sure that each of those O-rings spaces is in its position. Next thing we're going to install the little screws back in. These little guys are quite finicky. Okay, just like that. Just like that. You obviously don't want to talk these guys down. You just want to get them in there nice and firm. All right. Next, you want to make sure that that's obviously moving nice and free. And we also want to just make sure that these the heads are sitting flush with the back of the magazine. So the best way to do that is to put it on its side. Do a couple of turns, just like that. Just like that. Because if the screws protrude, then what you find will happen is that it won't insert into the rifle. Okay. So that is how you do install the mag modification plate. All right. So I've got some Zane slugs with me here. And these are 40 grain. Just to demonstrate to you guys, the reason that they don't fit. So here's an original mag. And we will index it. We'll put it put around it. Now we go to go load. You can see the mag cannot index further back than that. The slug is just too long for the original, the way the mag is set up originally. Now with the mag modification, we can slide around in there. Now we can move on to the next round and the next round. And these are all 40 grain Zane slugs. So, as you can see, if I, I push this leg out, make indexes, no problem. So that, guys, is the mag modification for the upgrade kit uh, from African Air Ordnance. All right, so you can see the mag, putting the mag adapters in is pretty simple, straightforward. So there you guys have it. So we've, we've increased our magazine depth. We replaced the factory bottle, the factory cocking handle, and factory hammer spring. And we still have our spare set of O-rings. I mean, those are just there. The reason we include them in case something gets damaged uh, during install, you have an immediate replacement. And also in the future, um, you'll have those handy. Guys, the Gen 2 kits are now available at AfricanAirWarners.com. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.